Hello everyone and welcome to the five, fifth part tutorial of how to model the studio microphone and let's continue so this time we will actually create a microphone and we'll assemble it to this uh, shocker mount um, also two more things uh, no one more thing is here uh, I made lags not sure layer and I made this so if I will add them whole I have these three parts that aren't included in any layer here so let's add them to the shock amount layer add selected objects right click and add selected objects and let's reveal this one and grab the, those right click on the shock amount which is the layer of those okay and actually remove those okay remove selected objects and then right click on the shock amount and basically we are doing some organi organization here so add select objects over there and now if we will reveal this one basically we will get all this shock amount in one layer and we can get rid of this so delete layer we can get rid of this and delete layer. So we have one layer for all this structure here. Okay. Uh, sorry, I have to pause for a second. Okay, got back and let's continue with this. First, check something. Okay. So we need to do one more thing uh, before we can start the microphone so, uh, so I want you to uh, maybe grab this part here okay and let's go inside <laughs> yeah maybe I should shouldn't assemble all those parts together so let's grab this um, face shift double click on this face shift select this one shift unselect this one, shift select, double click on this one and basically we are just selecting all the inner faces that way, okay, same procedure with those faces game okay, and then go over edit mesh, duplicate face so we have a duplicated faces from them and now press three times on F8 and then unselect the main body so we have only those faces and click extrude to extrude those sorry I was extruding them with earlier settings so click on the extrude options and reset and apply and let's extrude it once like so so this will be some kind of a rubber rubber that holds the microphone tight and now that's okay press F8 to bring it back to object mode hold on the shift right click insert the edge loop and we want to add two edge loops one here and one here and also at the bottom one here same as the upper part okay so when we smooth this it will look smooth and nice Okay, so that way. So now that we have this, um, let's create polygon cylinder, and let's scale this to the same uh, diameter diameter of this uh, structure. Okay, so a little bit the same, but a little bit less, like so and I want you to add through the attribute editor of this cylinder more segments something like 48 it's fine maybe 50 you know and I want you to add also subdivision height something like so now the reason for these is you will see in a moment I want you to squeeze this and <coughs> <coughs> sorry 
yeah this is how it should look like and for the subdivision cap I don't want any cap so bring it to zero so it should look something like so okay then uh, let's hide the layer of the shock mounter and here maybe I will add sorry okay it, uh, it's not accessible anymore so basically what I want you to do is go over right click choose face grab these two faces and delete them and then um, go over right click choose face grab all those faces and mesh sorry edit mesh poke face so it will create those X inside each face and this will be some kind of a, you know, uh, just for better grip of this uh, rubber part that will hold this. So what we are going to do is switch to the fourth view and to the side view. And we really need to zoom in. First let's tap F8 and we need to zoom in. So you see we have those X inside each face. So um, going to right click choose vertex and basically what we will need to do is very gently grab mark select all this area of the vertices that are in the middle of those X so one line you don't touch next line you do select and so on so it will be a little bit pain but eventually try and do this uh, it's just to add some more details for this basically we could make this with texture but uh, most cases I prefer I think to do this uh, you know by modeling it or shape it so yeah shift every time all the time I'm pressing shift by the way and selecting the next line okay just like that okay sometimes I don't find any shortcuts for this stuff so uh, sorry <laughs> Okay, these, these, and these. Okay, so one line yes, one line no, one line no, one line yes. And basically, you can understand here that I just selected all those uh, vertices inside each face that has this X okay uh, basically the poke, poke, poked face okay now you change to switch to scale tool and with the middle cube here okay you just click hold and drag to the right like so so now we have some spikes but because we are using this the spikes goes a little bit offset they are not staying in the middle so you need to after you chose how much it will be spiky okay like so let's say like so you push you push this cube axis okay the Y and try to bring it back to the same point you can use the four view and the side view again just to make sure it's really going back to the same start position okay I think that's something like so that's fine okay F8 once or twice go back to perspective mode and now right click choose edge let's double click on this edge and double click on this edge and then extrude those and immediately switch to the scale tool by pressing R on the keyboard 
and pull them with this cube a little bit out like so then double click only on this edge so this edge won't be selected go over mesh sorry edit mesh and sorry mesh and fill hole okay so we have hole uh, face here instead of this hole and now you can uh, choose this face and poke it and then right click choose vertex grab the vertex here in the middle shift hold on the shift right click at the same time and ch choose chamfer vertex and press F8 to bring it back to object mode right click choose face grab the space and scale this to about so with the move tool push this a little bit out extrude it once more tap on one of those cubes beside the arrows just tapping and then you will see this middle cube click and hold and drag this and do something like this okay and then just push it a little bit outside more like so again extrude tap on one of those cubes same procedure and once again so we have this and now I want you to click extrude one more time and this time like so extrude and bring this just a little bit inside and extrude it once more a little bit inside like so and a little bit inside like so now we will extrude at the same level so extrude tap and grab the middle cube like so and stretch it to about something like this extrude one more time tap on one of those cubes something like that and extrude one more time tap on one of those cubes and just bring it like this right click choose face double click this face and extrude this faces out a little bit like so okay press F8 to bring it back to object mode and this will be the lower part of the microphone now right click choose edge grab this edge double click on it extrude it switch to move tool and bring this up okay then extrude it switch to the scale tool and grab the middle cube here and do something like this okay now yeah something like that extrude it one more time switch to the move tool and bring this up like so extrude it one more time switch to the scale tool and bring this inside now if you really want to know if it's uh, this circle is exactly as this circle here switch to the top view through the four view now if you zoom in you see this here is what we are just trying to adjust and this here is the same position so here just in front of this before this spiky things this is basically the diameter of this lower part okay so now go over edit mesh mesh sorry fill hole and you have this hole like that grab this face edit mesh and poke face right click choose vertex grab only the middle vertex here okay shift right click chamfer vertex and that's pretty much for this sorry not so now let's grab all these faces double click on this one and this one and let's extrude it just a little bit down okay 
now uh yeah no yeah no no i'm not sure okay okay whatever um right click choose vertices i want to bring all those a little bit upper okay like so no i know i know okay sorry let's grab all these this one and bring this extrude it and bring this up like so and then you can grab this face and maybe just expand it to about so okay now we will create a cube let's bring this cube up here and I want to I want you to scale this cube to something like this bring this up even more like so right click choose vertices let's grab these vertices and pull them that way and also let's scale only one in one axis that way press F8 okay oh sorry I've done something wrong here well almost sure okay so scale this that way okay it's not a photographic view so it's a little bit confusing me but like this press F8 right click choose edge grab this edge hold down the control key right click and at the same time edge ring utilities to edge ring and split and go over and do the same to this side to this edge hold on the control right click edge ring utilities to edge ring and split then go over edit mesh offset edge loop tool we will relay on this edge click on it and then you will see those two offsets edge loops create them like this and create another on this edge like so okay I will try to smooth preview this yeah it doesn't look that good so what I will do I will undo those offsets and yeah and I only have those offsets right now press F8 hold on the shift right click insert the edge loop tool click on this option box and reset this tool and add one edge over here now if I will press 3 doesn't look right let me see maybe here two edge loops yeah that more of what it looks should look like okay I will pause for a second the cat is starting to yelling here okay so I got back and not quite satisfied with this but yes we added one edge loop down there and I want also to maybe bring those vertices here a little bit down and press F8 to bring it back to object mode and let's see what I'm doing wrong yeah okay so adding this as loop was pretty much right but maybe let's no don't slide it that way you hold on the shift right click and choose slide edge and with your middle mouse wheel click and hold and drag it so it will slide without uh, changing uh, you know how this thing is loop okay press 3 and you can try and play with it a little bit like so then press F8 press 1 not sure but something looks a little bit offset with this 
Oh, all right. oh, that's okay. Okay, so right click choose face. Let's grab. Uh, let's grab. Let's do this that way. We gonna add one more edge loop. So offset edge loop tool on top of this middle one. I want it to be exactly here and one more just next to them okay then choose face grab this face this face this face and basically all these faces here and yeah down here we have those two are necessary and these two okay you click extrude and you pull this out that way just a little bit not much then yeah maybe a little bit more like so and then press F8 let's add two edge loops or maybe more insert edge loops we're going to add one edge loop here and it also goes for the other side so don't worry one edge loop here here we need one and we, here we need one so now if we press three to smooth preview this okay it will basically look just like this and that's good for us okay um, let me see here what's going on and yeah so bring this back over here right click choose face I want you to go to the side view that way and I want you to choose only those faces here at this side maybe need to scroll down a little bit okay that way no these are unnecessary yeah right and shift select those I guess I need to do this manually so oh, sorry I need the other size also so I can't pick them one by one I need to mark select the area so let's try this that way and we will need to unselect them manually so these are unnecessary here those don't need don't need this one we don't need this one we actually don't need even these so sorry for that but again some stuff I can't always predict or you know solve in one touch uh, okay these and these and I will turn on the x-ray just to see if anything else has been selected It looks here like some faces down here has been selected and I don't want them to be selected. So maybe it's better just to uh, do this when it's still above this base here. Okay, so now after this, turn off the x-ray. Let's see one more time that everything is exactly as it should. Go over mesh, extract, F8 once or twice, and let's grab these two faces, these two parts here. Okay, press 3 to smooth them. And by the way, 
I'm doing this only because I want to smooth everything here, all those, but making sure that all the meeting points between them are still intact, so we don't have any holes here or something like this. So that's good. And here I want you to add a few edge loops, so hold on the shift, right click, insert edge loop. We will add one edge loop here at the top, one edge loop somewhat here, so we will have some rounded angle here, one here, one here. Those edges are basically to maintain those sharp edges and you have to have two for each edge, okay, in each side, so this is what we are doing right now, adding those edges, and also down here, make sure you have a few extra edges just to maintain thing, things, okay, now I'm not sure this part will be smoothed, because I don't know how it will look like. Let's see. Well, it looks good when it's moved, basically. So that's fine. The only problem I have is with this face here, which I want to go over Edit Mesh and poke this face. And that's it. So let's turn on our layer of the shop amount. And if you've done everything correctly, uh, it should look something like this. Now, the only problem we have here is the, you know, the, uh, maybe the twist. No, it's more of like grabbing these pieces, bring them up, right click on the base here, choose all those vertices, the upper vertices, and bring them little bit up like so and that way the microphone will be at the correct height okay just push this there and that's good I guess maybe I will bring those see this uh, thick area of this. I maybe want to grab all the vertices of this one, this part here, and maybe bring this just a little bit lower that way. And then press F8 and bring all this unit just a little bit lower. And then maybe those to here. Okay, so this uh, this thing is over here and let's grab all the pieces of the microphone and add them to a new layer so let's call this microphone okay save this and we can shut this shock amount layer I want to add a little bit more details here so shift right click insert um, edge loop, we'll add one edge loop here and one edge loop here, basically it's better to use the, the uh, split tool, so I will undo this, right click choose edge, let's grab only this edge, control, right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split, and then go over edit mesh and offset edge loop relaying, click on this edge and do something like this. Now click you go over this edge, double click on it, shift, right click and choose delete edge. This is how you should get rid of edges. Grab this face here, edit mesh, poke face, Okay, and then grab this edge. No, you know what? Let's just 
press F8, once or twice, shift, right click, split, split polygon tool. We're gonna make split from here to here and right click. By the way, it will snap to the middle, to the center, because it's relaying on uh, the nearest vertices here, so don't worry. And I need to pause for just two minutes. I will come back, so sorry. Okay, I got back. It took me a little bit more than two se two minutes, but right click to vertex. Uh, we are going to grab this vertex, shift right click and chamfer this vertex. Then you go and choose vertex and we want to create a screw over here. So I'm trying to create some uh, kind of a you know, uh, hole for it first. So I'm grabbing these four vertex here and trying to create something that looks like this. But I first need to see this from the side view. Yeah, that's fine. And what I want to do here is right click choose face and delete this face. Okay. So now if I press 3 to smooth preview it, you will have this circle here, you see? Then right click, choose, uh, press 1 to exit the smooth preview. Right click, choose edge, double click on this edge, extrude it. But you will have to extrude it with, no, sorry, I will undo that. Double click on it, on this edge, extrude it, and push it there, okay, and go over edit mesh, sorry, mesh, fill hole, and we're gonna add a few edge loops here, so shift right click, insert edge loop, one edge loop about here, one edge loop just here to maintain things here. Okay, and here inside I want to add two edge loops here, one here, and then maybe choose this face, add it mesh, and poke this face, and then right click vertex, choose this vertex. Okay, that way it's fine, we don't need to do anything more than this, but let me first examine this. Okay, I want to add one more edge loop, basically. I feel like something here is not really as I want this to be. Okay, so press F8. And let's get rid of the wireframe on shaded. Just want to see how this thing looks here. So basically I made a mistake. I didn't have to uh, assign the this edge loop so shift right click and delete it so we don't have this cubic kind of feel here okay you see right now it's, it looks uh, more of, of like it should look and without any uh, distortion here or something <clears throat> then let's go create a sphere you want to grab the sphere and bring this all the way up here so we can work with it. And you also want to grab a cube, create a cube, and bring it over here. Now, this cube, I want you to squeeze this. Sorry, right click, choose face. Grab this face, this face, this face, and this face. And what I want you to do is go over Edit Mesh, uncheck the keep faces together and then extrude and when you extrude this it will each face will go individu individually wow it's so hard to say this individually to its own direction okay <laughs> feel retarded but sorry <laughs> that's okay um, yeah scale this to something like so and bring this um, Maybe quarter, uh, about quarter inside, okay. 
So this is the halfway. We need less, like so. And maybe scale this, like so. So it will be like that. And then select this one, shift, select this. Go over mesh, booleans, and difference. So now we have something that looks like a screw, at least from this point of view. Okay, grab all those faces here, delete them, press F8 to bring it back to object mode, modify, and center the pivot for it. Now we will assemble this to this holder and <clears throat> like that. Let's find the hole. Here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this, make it much more tinier. And by the way, I wanna do something here. So let's press 1 to exit the smooth preview, right click, choose vertices. I wanna choose all those inner vertices here. Okay, and let's make sure we didn't select anything from the other side. Those vertices are needed, only those here, and switch to the scale tool and expand this hole. Okay, make it bigger, but don't do this, do something like that. Okay, and then press F8 to bring it back to object mode. Well, definitely we made some distortion here, but that's fine, never mind. Let's bring this screw over here and rotate it, holding down the J to face this. And now we will need to make a little bit work here in order to assemble this. So J. Uh, well, it's not always good to use the snap rotation thing, okay, but let's do our best. Let's move this and let's bring this and scale this so it will fit this hole. Okay, yeah, I, I really made some distortion here and I don't really like this. So what I will do, I will grab all those vertices here and maybe try, sorry, I've selected some of them here, so unselect them and then come over here, maybe try to push this a little bit backwards, just a little bit, not much, okay, let's press 3, let's move preview this. And by the way, um, the vertices here, we basically modified those, okay? These and these and these. And now we need a little bit. I forgot because I didn't notice it. It was look a little bit good, so we need to grab these and also scale them. Oh, sorry. Again, selecting unneeded vertices control to unselect them and select them to unselect them basically so now I'm trying to make this look a little bit more like a circle okay press F8 and let's scale this so it will fit here and now all you left to do basically is try and convince yourself to create maybe one more or two more of these okay but this is really depends on you um, yeah now I don't really like what's going on with here with this I smoothed everything here but it doesn't look good so what we will do um, we will go over faces switch to one of the sides view front view Let's try close up here and I want you to select, mark select all these faces here. Okay. Now you see I selected also the row here. 
Now maybe these are needed, but down here we have a little bit of problem, so I will unselect everything here using the control and also switch to the perspective view and see what's going on here. What have I what 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 I was selecting and it's unnecessary. So we need to control and select those to unselect those. Okay. Just like so. So we have only these, only those spiky things here. And go over mesh. By the way, make sure keep faces together is checked. Okay, we just unchecked it earlier, but now we need it to be checked and extract this. Okay, so now this will be a separated piece. Press F8 a few times and now you can press 1 to exit the smooth preview but you can smooth preview this and this will be unsmoothed and this will be smooth okay so this will be still be spiky as it should like this great now one more thing uh, you wanna do you wanna texture this okay so for texturing this basically um, grab these two okay these two right click choose assign new material go over the mental ray here now if you don't see mental ray here you go over windows setting preferences plugin manager and you look for Maya 2MR bundle if you're using windows so you probably have Maya 2MR dot MLL and it's um, the same thing okay so check those two boxes close and then here you will see mental ray choose Maya material X and from the Maya material X I need to go over edit for those two pieces um, choose delete by type history and then I can scroll those tabs here and find the Maya material X I just added apply to this, click on this, and down at the bottom of, uh, click on this, click on file, and click on this folder here to load the file. Now on the description you will find a texture, a link to the texture that I'm going to use, so use it. Um, let's see, well, not sure where is it, let me Pause for a second to find it. Okay, so here it is. And sorry, I had a problem with this. So open this file and press 6 on your keyboard to see this texture on top of your uh, model. Okay, now what you need to do is grab these two faces, go over edit mesh, sorry, polygons create UVs and automatic mapping so it looks like this but we need to it need to be a little bit more tinier and with more coverage so what you're gonna do is uh, you press F8 once or twice and here uh, let me see here on the color, click on this, sorry, click on this, on the Maya Material X1, click on this thing here, maybe the upper one, yeah, and then you will see the place to the texture. So click on this tab, and in the repeat UV, press 5, type in 5 and 5, okay, so it will look like so, but see, there is some problem because this area is a little bit more stretched so let's try press 2 here maybe maybe 5 let's see what will happen here so no right now it's going all the way back so what we need to do maybe is mirror no uh, let's try create UVs and Spherical mapping, yeah, that's more what have we looked for, okay? 
So press F8 to bring it back to object mode. And for this part, right click. Um, yeah, maybe for all of them. So grab all the pieces of the microphone. Right click, assign new material. Assign new material. Mental ray, my material X. And for this material, uh, tab, click preset and choose the chrome, which I find the best thing to choose here. Okay, then let's click on this uh, channel box, go over the shock amount layer, apply it, and basically you will grab all the metal pieces that should be metal, okay, these basically all of the structure except those here that supposed to be or rubber or something more like uh, wire but right now just select those without this one and this one here okay okay this one I forgot right click assign existing material and my material X2 was the second um, material we added, so choose it, okay. And maybe you would like to change the preset for these. I'm not sure you want this structure and the microphone to have the same color, but maybe you do. So you can always try and go over, uh, you know, this material here and change the preset. Uh, by but first apply a new my material X so you can change the preset to something else maybe like copper and then change the um, you know the colors of this copper okay or maybe satin metal so it really depends on you right now about the, what you want to do with this so I think that this is pretty much it for this part of the tutorial also maybe I want to press 1 to exit the smooth preview and add a few more supporting edge loops here so add edge loop here because I just noticed that it looks a little bit smoothed sorry one here one here same procedure basically adding supporting edge loops to each loop to, to each corner edge so it will maintain them sharp. This is funny, I don't know how I forgot about those, but okay. Now if I will press 3, you can see this area looks a little bit more as it should. So, this is it for this part of the tutorial. Uh, by the way, maybe let's do one more thing. Let's grab these two, right click, sign new material, mental ray, and choose my material X again. So this is the my material X3 right now. Preset, rubber, and replace. This is it. So this will be a rubber, and the rest as a, and maybe this one also my material X. We have this rubber part here. Right click, assign existing material, my material X3. Okay, so. I hope you enjoyed this part of the tutorial. We will continue and create the stand and the cable, but this is it for this part. I'm sure it was a little bit long, so um, let's finish it for for this part, and we'll continue the next part. So bye. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like the tutorials. Um, it really helps, and that's it. Thank you.